Welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. So I got a big dent right here. You can't really see it on camera, but it needs to be pulled out. Um, I can get to, the, get to the back of this, this panel with a hammer and dolly, but I want to try this new Harbor Freight uh, stud welder. So I'm going to try it out real quick, see what happens. <clears throat> and uh, this is a two millimeter pin that I'm using. It comes with two millimeter and three millimeter. And what you do, you drop this pin in the uh, tip. Stick this on here where you want to weld. Push, whoa, don't want to do that. Stick this on here where you want to weld to pull out. And then you're gonna push kind of hard until this ground is grounded out to uh, the part that you're gonna weld the stud to. And you wanna wear safety glasses when you do this. You're gonna hold this for about one to five seconds. It's welded, pull it off. <clears throat> and then you're gonna grab your, uh, this also comes in the, in the Harbor Freight kit. You're gonna grab your slide hammer. And right here on the top of the slide hammer, it has a little toggle. It's, I'm not digging this too much, but I'm gonna see how it works. And you toggle that, you pull that toggle backwards, this little wheel, and it, you can feel it kind of grabs onto it. And then you're gonna use your slide hammer. Oops. You're gonna use your slide hammer to, uh, it, you wanna keep pressure on this too when you're doing this. And you're going to take your weight on your slide hammer and pull it back until it slams into this here. And you don't want to do it real hard. I'm going to do a little bit more. I don't know about this uh, toggle on here. I'm not, I'm not too uh, thrilled about that right now. Because if it's going to let go that easy, that's not good. All right. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> Might want to go a little bit more. All right, and then this little pin that's right here, and I'm going to pull this forward so you can see it. You see that it uh, it pulled this dent out. Now it feels nice and smooth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and snip this off, and this gets thrown away. And uh, that's it. I'll grind that clean, smooth it up a little bit, maybe uh, polish it a little bit with my uh, sander, and you know see how it looks. So I'm going to move this uh, tripod back over here. So I hope you guys don't mind the uh, shaky camera. And I'm going to show you what comes in this kit after I unplug it. <clears throat> so this is the uh, Harbor Freight. This is the Dent Repair Stud Welder Kit, item number 61433. And in the box, it comes with uh, the slide hammer, the stud welder, and you get some 2mm studs and some 3mm studs. And then you also you get the electrode, which on the end of your gun, Right here, this is uh, changeable. You can change this out. Put the big one or the small one on here. And you get a number two and a number three. So whatever studs you decide to use, you can change those out. One of the things that was kind of weird though is this button feels kind of funny, but now that I've used it, it's all right. It clicks on and off and it's, you know, it's got a little rubber cover over it. Um, this thing's big, heavy, and robust. Uh, weighs about, man, maybe five or six pounds pretty good size and uh, this plugs into a regular 110 household cord and it has a trip so if you accidentally leave it on for like six seconds or more this this little button will kick out and it'll shut the machine off and then this is a reset and when you uh, go to weld with this you have to take this and push up to the body of where you're welding so that this is your ground and then that's grounded out. And then when you push the trigger right here, you count to one, two and let off or three, four, five, whatever you want to go to, however hot you want to get it, get that panel. Uh, when you're doing these thin sheet metal cars, 
these newer cars, it's, uh, their, their metal's pretty thin, so you want to be careful not to burn through it. Um, like I said, it comes with a bag of number three, three millimeter pins. It also comes with a bag of number two millimeter pins. I actually picked this bag up here. Um, when I ordered this online, I ordered a set of this uh, two millimeter pins and you get 250 of these. And this was 99 bucks shipped to my house. And it also comes with a slide hammer. I'm not sure how, if I like this toggle, this little wheel setup right here. Um, we're gonna see how that works out. I have another style of slide hammer that I might use. But I'll give it a try and see, see if I like it or not. It has a two pound uh, weight right here. And it's got a rubber grippy handle. It, it's built really nice. Everything feels nice. It's not cheap filling. Um, this rubber handle can come off, but I mean, I imagine if you wanted to, a guy could put another style handle on it or something. Uh, you want to be careful not to put your fingers right here. And the other thing is you want to be careful when you're doing this, using this uh, stud welder, not to, you know, catch your garage on fire or whatever you're working on. You don't want to catch it on fire like the panel, like if you're doing a door panel or something, make sure you have all the inside taken out so you'll catch something on fire. Um, this, uh, the number on this is uh, 61433. And like I said, it was 99 bucks shipped to the house. I think that's an awesome deal. And first time using it, I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. And uh, I'll try to do some more, uh, you know, some more reviews or videos later on when I'm trying it out. And right now I recommend it. I mean, if you're gonna spend the money on a stud water and it's something that you don't use that much and it's gonna sit in a box in the corner a lot of the times, 99 bucks to me is pretty, pretty much worth it. But uh, like I said, I'll try to do some more reviews and whatever on this later on. Anyways, uh, hope I didn't bore you guys. Thanks a lot for watching.